Hello everyone, uh, Pete here from Jolly Old England. Hope you're all well and uh, a special get well soon to Big Charlie. I've just seen he's come out of hospital having this head operation. Um, I do hope you get well soon Charlie and fully recover. Quite scary whatever whatever you've had done in there. Um, uh, Amazing, good luck to you mate. Um, but really I'm here for the uh, Rambler 69 appreciation build for old Tom. Who's been a great supporter of my channel and a, and a really good help to me. Um, fantastic geezer. Um, just outstanding, outstanding. And his models are just dumb. Um, just so clean and, and precise and to me they're, they're really quite at the peak of, of what a model should look like um, hopefully some of my shit will get that good one day um, and and to, in saying that uh, the other day I received a new card from Tom and he helped me get hold of some of these decals from STS uh, in America, this is the company that, that uh, Tim at Throttle Power was talking about the other week, and they've got a, a set. If I bring this right the way up slowly, there you go. And I reckon that the two down the bottom, oh, wobble wobble, this pair will look good on the 49 pickup I've been working on. So I'm gonna have to uh, rearrange my paint job on that a little bit and accommodate those um, or possibly those on the thumb but fantastic I'm over the moon chuffed brilliant um, and without it without Tom's help I wouldn't wouldn't have been able to get them they, they seem to not want to post overseas so with a bit of help from Tom I was able to get those um, I have been messing around with the 49 in on the interior there I've put some let's hope that shade just goes away a bit some uh, carpets in the bottom there that uh, came from Ca Canada they came from Steve Minion over there at, he printed out me some I know they're dark and dingy down in there but uh, they still Add a little flavour. Dashboard's in the bloody way. These are little flames when he's done. And there I've made up some... If I bring that up again, maybe that'll do better. Uh, these seat belts on there are, are masking tape with uh, styrene uh, parts, clip parts. The, um, the ones without the hole in start life as a piece of channel with another piece of strip laid into the channel um, to give you the sort of clasp effect and on the doors I've changed out scribed off the old door handles and come on, come on have a look in there well done uh, uh, window winder and, and catch to give me a and make up a three dimensional one to, um, yeah, again, I mean, you're not going to see a lot of this, but they irritate the hell out of me. Why they mould them in, I do not understand. Um, but simply made out of, let's see if I can get in there, discs of, of rod, you know, just a slither of rod, then an arm, and then a little rivet made by the heat process that I showed before. Um, if, I'm sure you all know how to make a rivet with a, a lighter or on stretch sprue but there we go that's basically the interior I'm keeping it nice and grubby for this well worn truck and uh, over on the other part of it I've made some uh, that's what the trees are for Pete where are we there well, hopefully that will come in it's a sun visor it probably won't uh, so I've made a pair of sun visors to go into the, the roof of the thing. And also maybe if I lift the hole up, I've uh, scratch built a 
what will be a CB uh, spotlight and then uh, drill through and put the wire in down into the into the cab there from it um, yeah again this was a piece of channel then chamfer the ends off and cap them um, I've got too much Tom you're making too much fuss for the old there we go uh, and then a disc in the centre and, and another stretch rivet and then make up the bracket underneath for it to mount onto the uh, bulkhead like I say now wiring coming through and a little tab on it uh, the other parts are down here a new steering rack uh, with three on the tree and, and a indicator lever that's not going to work at all is it I, I really ought to move the camera and bugger about hang on is that any better no light and uh, like I say these are the that's the indicator arm just dropping down. Above that is the the uh, gear shift linkage, and it's all held on a stem that I'm hoping will look like a steering lock or ignition lock on the post. And I've got to add another rod for the the actual three gear of it. Um, and I've got in there a selection of steering wheels. I'm not sure yet which ones I'm going to use I've got three in there I'm looking at of di different depths of dish uh, so that's all progress on that um, over there you can see the 55 has got a bit of um, ink uh, marker pen around it because I wanted to mark out what the lines where they're actually going properly what's on the windscreen and what's on the on the styrene to work out the, the gap in there um, and how much you've got to build up before you get there doesn't seem to be a proper screen rubber seal all the way around this windscreen and I'm unfortunately on the box art there's no photographs of the real car I think the older releases have got real car photographs on them but looking at the side view, knock everything about Pete. The top of the windscreen looks pretty flush to the cab. Whereas as they've got it moulded, it isn't. It sinks back a bit. So where the locating points for the uh, those two tabs I've highlighted there that stop the windscreen going back, I'm going to put a strip in to bring the cab the windscreen slightly further forward so as it does come to this edge more like this image here that that's definitely looks flush to me and this, this this is the best we got to work on um i've highlighted the door line so as i don't ignore that um the sort of j part of that around there you know that's all door line and then we'll have to work that out and build it up but I think once that's moved forward a little bit to nearly flush and build up a bead sort of butt against the bead then the gap down the bottom with it being square and this is all I think I'm going to hit it with a piece of 125 um, 0.25 millimeter strip by probably uh, so that's really thin, quarter of a mil thick by a mil and a half wide or something and try and pack out a top strip and then go to the fixing the, the, the front part. Um, but it's an interesting little challenge. Um, I'm quite glad Doug, Doug put me onto it. Uh, Douglas at Douglas Model Garage videos. And in the course of my searching, I don't know if any of you remember seeing me, I got a snake bite monster truck in a box of junk. I don't really know that the seller knew what he had in the box of junk, but that's the way of the world, isn't it? Um, it's a lucky dip for me. I don't want to damage those decals. 
The other day I was looking for some wheels for it because I, I come it came minus wheels. And I bumped into this, which if I set that back again. Sorry for the wobble. A dog that won't even fit in the I've got this whole kit for sixteen ninety nine in pounds and it's complete. So that's the donor wheels for the snake bike kit. But it's the whole whole kit and I only needed a set of wheels. <laughs> so I might have a Monster 55 Chevy. I'm certainly not going to use that body. It's far too boring and too new. Um, but I think this kit is what the, the whole um, snake bike was based on. I haven't checked sprues yet, but I think so. But it might make for an interesting 55 instead. 55 cameo monster trucky thingy. I don't know. Will those wheels fit on there? Might look quite good. And I was thinking about um, Rambler 69. Old Tom over there. I haven't got a clue what I'd actually um, build for him. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of 29 roadsters and five window coops and things like that bobbing around um i don't know but i do know i'll do it in a paint screen scheme of red black and white whatever it is in fact you might get a load of models in red black and white <laughs> the, um the other day i was given a better test for the deluxe filler I bought the other week. I was trying to smoke some on my uh, Ranchero, but there weren't really enough of it to fill anything. So I, I've been toying with another kit to just test the filler out a little bit. It seems to fill an actual crack all, all well, but a, a blemish and smooth surface, it doesn't want, if there was like a dish in the roof, it, it wouldn't particularly like filling that, I don't think. I'll predominantly carry on with stopper. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers. There's been a few new ones, and please comment if you are new. It's nice to know who's about and what your opinions are. Um, best wishes from jolly old England. Bye.